Hi everybody and welcome back to the Meta Taylor YouTube channel. Today we are doing our continuing education series where we are focusing and honing in on specific elements of Meta Taylor to make sure you are using it to its highest potential. Today's video is about exporting out of Meta Taylor. So if you've got your avatar all dressed, all the clothes on it, bringing it out of Meta Taylor so it can be opened in Unreal, Maya, Blender, wherever you want to send your character and have it work. So stick around, make sure you like and subscribe down below to see more videos like this one and let's go ahead and jump into it. Here we are back in Meta Taylor once again with one of my favorite designs that I made, which is the Adeptus Sororitas. I pulled this outfit off of DeviantArt and applied it to our Meta Taylor Meta Human right here. And today we're going to talk about exporting. We've done a lot of importing and designing. How do we get this out of Meta Taylor and into another program? You can find export up here next to our home design, import and export. And in here, it just gives you some really simple options. What do you want to name this? I'm going to name this Adepta. Where do you want it to go to? It's going to my desktop, which is fine, but if you wanted to take it to a different path, you could click this button right here. Export conditions, you can either do the default, which puts it out as an FBX with the textures as a PNG, and as soon as you start changing that, it changes it over to custom, or if you have a custom that you wanna save out, you can save out a preset. So my texture formats, I'm gonna keep them as PNGs. FBXs, the scale is one. So scaling is always important, especially if you're bringing this into Unreal. Remember, with Unreal, you want your FBXs to be the correct size before you bring them into Unreal. Otherwise, you'll have a little bit of a memory leak in Unreal if you're scaling them up in Unreal. You really can't scale FBXs inside of Unreal. They have to be the proper scale beforehand. So with that, you have the option to scale it to one or multiply that up to 100. I'll leave this as it is, scale it out pretty nice uh, to one, 100 points of the size because this was pretty small when I brought it in. And what do I want to include? Well, I want the avatar. Yep, clothes, skin weights, clean bones, vertex colors, white is fine. Uh, and if I wanted to include the proxies or dynamic proxies, I could, I'm not gonna do that. But with all of these checked, I could just go ahead and hit export. It takes a moment, it gets it all ready for me. It'll create a folder on my desktop called Adepta and it'll have everything in there. And there it is, done exporting. And you can see I've got my Adepta FBX here. Let's take a peek over at Maya. And here we are in Maya. We can see it has exported very nicely. Everything is there. Let's see, does it have the textures? It does, it has all those textures that we created in there, slowly loading and ready to go inside of Maya. And that's exporting. You can export anything you need out of Meta Taylor and bring it into Unreal, Maya, or wherever you may need it. And that's it for this video. Hopefully this either answered a question or taught you something new about Meta Taylor because it's such a powerful program that has so much potential that you are able to do everything you need to do within it. So thanks for sticking around. Make sure you like and subscribe down below to see more videos like this one. And that's it. Get out of here. Go get dressed. Bye, everybody.